Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel. My name is Melody and in today's video I thought that I would open up a little bit about myself and what shaped me to be the person that I am today, which if I'm being completely honest, I just became really proud of. And that is my battle with depression. I think that it's something that a lot of people go through and I know me especially, I didn't want to talk about because of the taboo that came along with depression, but um, I want to talk about it. I want to share my story. I want to help those who are struggling too or help those who know someone who's struggling. Everything started for me when I was 12 years old. Um, that's when I started losing control of my emotions. You know, I was just your everyday kid. I was really insecure though and I was really cautious about what people thought about me and how people looked at me and um, I started to become a prisoner to my own mind. My emotions started to become super overwhelming. I was feeling numb all the time. I was feeling sad all the time. I was feeling trapped. Trapped in a mind that I had no idea whose mind it was. I was a prisoner of my own mind telling me that I wasn't good enough, telling me that, you know, I was gonna fail at whatever I did and telling me just all these lies and it became really overwhelming and really consuming. Because of that, I developed really unhealthy addictions, all of which led me to my diagnosis. Um, so I was 13 when I was put on my first antidepressant and it worked, you know, I was happy, I was fine. But over time, I noticed that those thoughts started to come back. The feelings started to come back, that sense of being numb and ashamed and suicide, to be quite honest. I thought about suicide a lot and I tried committing suicide a lot, more times than I can count during that time. And that's when I knew that something was wrong and so, over the next, you know, 14 years, I was trial and error with different antidepressants. I was on some and then I went off of them because they weren't working and I tried more and they weren't working and eventually I just got tired of it. And so the next one I tried, I stuck to. And that was an awful mistake. This one was horrible, to say the least. With antidepressants, you can have negative side effects as well. You can have, you know, positive ones, which is not feeling depressed and whatnot, but then you can have negative ones, and that's what I had with this certain antidepressant. And the two specific ones that I had were being even more depressed and suicidal. It got to a point where I was thinking about suicide three to five times a week. Whenever something bad would happen, I would automatically think, that it would just be better if I were gone. I felt that my actions and my feelings were burdening people and I hated that. So I just thought it would be easier if I just took it all away. I would have happy moments, I would have happy times, but it was almost easier to not be happy because you would have a crash afterwards and you would be sad again. So why even, why even be happy when you know you're just gonna be sad again? Why even build yourself up for that? So I just was depressed all the time. I was sad, I was numb, I was trapped, and I was angry. I was really angry because everyone was going about their lives, doing what they wanted to, having passions, pursuing them, and I couldn't. I felt like I couldn't do it, I felt like I would have these thoughts and I would have these goals, but then I would think to myself, it's too late, I can't do it, I'm not good enough, I'm gonna fail, and then depression would kick in again. And it was just a never ending cycle and it wouldn't stop and I just couldn't take it anymore. Which led me to an attempted overdose. I just couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't deal with it anymore. And that's when I started opening up. I needed to stop suppressing everything that I was feeling. I needed to stop masking 
my true feelings and masking how I really felt because for so long my new normal made it so I made myself think I was happy. I made people believe that I was happy. I made people believe that I was okay, but I wasn't okay. So when I finally opened up and started talking about it, that's when I learned it wasn't normal. And I learned that I didn't deserve to think that way. And so that's when I got help. And I have never been happier. I'm finally pursuing my dreams. I'm finally going after what I want and I'm not overcome by that powerful voice that we hear in our head saying we're not good enough or that we're gonna fail. I'm not overcome by feeling trapped and suffocated. And I'm finally gaining my power back. I'm finally gaining my strength back that I had so long ago, but so much stronger. And I want anybody who's watching this, who is feeling trapped, who is feeling suffocated, who is feeling like they can't get out, it's gonna be okay. It may not seem like it right now, and trust me, I know I had people tell me the same thing, but I'm here to tell you that I've been there. I know what you're going through, and it does get better. Whether it's you seeking help, whether it's you talking to someone, whether it's you switching your antidepressant like I needed to, there is an answer and there is a way out, and I promise you that the other side is so much better. And I promise you that you are worth it. You are worth living a wonderful life. You are worth fighting for. And if it's someone you know who's dealing with depression, just be there for them. Let them know that everything's going to be okay. Support them. Love them. I wanted to make this video to maybe bring some light to depression. I wanted to tell my story because I don't want to let fear overcome me anymore. I don't want to let shame overtake me anymore. This is me telling my story. I'm owning it. And I'm proud of it. Because I wouldn't be where I am if it weren't for that. And I'm finally learning to love myself more than I ever have. So, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.